On this video I'll be unboxing some of these gashapons here, so a bit of a random video but I just wanted to see what we have here and make a video for you guys. And these all came from Japan, a friend came back recently from a trip there and he was able to get me a couple of these. So this is pretty much what I've got here, I also have this special promo Shenmue disc here, what's Shenmue? This is like a demo disc before Shenmue was released, just a little add on here. We're here for the capsule toys, so let's go ahead and open some of these up. I know pretty much what they are. Um, two of them are like Mega Drive ones, so let's start off with these. Okay, let's see what we have. It looks like it could be a Genesis Mega Drive. This is cool. So detailed as well. Look at these little controllers here. And they all plug in by the looks of it. We have like a Sonic 2 sticker there, a Japanese version, for the cartridge. There's two cartridges. This is the Mega Drive collection by the looks of it. So it looks like from the pamphlet we have an original Mega Drive. Mark 1, then there's Mark 2, so make a CD Mark 1. You can also get some attachments for it as well. Pretty neat. This hopefully should be something different. This is the 32X add-on. Oh, so I can actually attach my MD1, I think, onto this. We've got some more stickers for the Mega CD. Okay, so the, yeah, this is the Mega CD and the 32X add-on. I think they've got slots where I can just pretty much build a whole uh, Mega Drive Mega Console collection. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, the end goal is to make pretty much the tower, the Mega Drive tower. Okay, this one here is pretty much just a mini disc. I still have all of my mini disc collection. So this is a neat touch. The style of it isn't like a was it one of those Sony or TDK ones, but you can see that there's a mini disc here. So mini disc collection, they come in different colours. It's just a shame that there isn't any um, kind of logo or brand on there. Cool little keychain actually for those mini disc fans out there. Which reminds me, I should probably dig out my mini disc collection and just listen to some because gone are the days of recording on mini discs. Not sure. yeah. Okay, next one is a pretty random one. This one here. If you probably wouldn't have guessed already. Nothing gaming related. This is a phone box. Would you believe it? Actually, I think these buttons all click in. So you've got your Japanese traditional phone box. Interesting. Love it. So you can take the, the earpiece out. And here are all the other phone boxes, styles that you can get. This looks like a 19, the 90s, I guess, or 1980s, I don't know. If uh, those of you are more familiar with Japanese phone boxes, you'll probably know more than me, but this definitely looks retro, for sure. 
but not too old where it has a dial, so it does have buttons and a digital screen here. Okay, I've got a mystery one here, I'm not too sure what this one is, but we're going to open that last. This one here, for you Dead by Daylight fans, this is a Dead by Daylight Gashapon. So, as you may know, I am a big fan of the game, I play it quite often, so this is pretty cool to have. I didn't even know they did Dead by Daylight capsule toys, until my friend told me. And these are basically just the gens, you can get other ones as well, there is a hook style collection as well as some some of the killer keychains. I don't think they do survivor ones but I have a generator here. I'm not too sure what color this is. Gold or silver generator. Pretty neat. What most survivors fail to do is get on the gems. So yeah this is a cool collector's piece for a few Dead by Daylight fans. Let's open this one, already can see what this one is. You can probably tell, even though you can't see its face. This one is a cute little Kirby. Just fits inside that capsule toy with a smiley little face. And these are actually made by uh, Namco Bandai, I think. Uh, they are official Nintendo. And they're part of the Kitten Club or Kitan Club. There's a couple of these to collect. I've got the smiley face one. And now, last one here. Mystery. What could this be? Oh, sick. This is amazing. I wanted uh, some Shenmue Gashapons, but a friend told me that there wasn't much in terms of Shenmue merchandise. There wasn't much in terms of uh, Shenmue capture toys. But this is pretty much what Ryu rides. Pretty cool. I think he rides a Toyota one. So there's a collection of forklifts that you can get. May not be a, a Shenmue one, but, but still. This one is pretty cool. All I need is a miniature Rio uh, figurine. And then we have some bits for it as well. Look how tiny these are. I don't know what, what these are, but they attach to somewhere. Pretty cool though. So here's the little Mega Drive. Or Genesis Mark 1. And I put the sticker for one of the cartridges. Basically a Sonic 2, one of my favourite Mega Drive games. There's even a place to put a sticker on the back. Very authentic. And this actually pops in. Has a little click. And for the controllers, we can just pop them in to the controller port. I've got some stickers left over. I think this might be for the console and then another cartridge sticker here I'm not, I think that's what game is that Shining Force maybe can't really tell okay, here's the Mega CD it actually pops out so you can put a, the actual Mega CD inside here so I can pop this out it has a slot so that attaches on top like so. I forgot to put the 32X on top of the Mega Drive. So we have a full combo almost, I think. So we've got some more console stickers at the back. Here's the Mega CD. I need to put the stickers on. So the game that is shown is called Dark Wizard. Okay, not perfect, but it's on there, as you can see. The Mega CD. 
can put this in here. The Mega Drive can go on top. I do have an extra cartridge here. There's a couple of these. I think I have another one from the Mega Drive as well. So you get two with the Mega Drive and then one with the Mega CD 32X add-on. So actually this one, the 32X one, is a 32X game. It's slightly different than the Mega Drive cartridge. So here are all the capsule toys laid out for you. My favourite by far is most probably the Mega Drive collection just because of how detailed it is and they all connect together as well. And we've got the Kirby here, Kirby plush. The generator is pretty cool as well for you Dead by Daylight fans. And then we've got the phone box. You even get some uh, other household appliances. You can get some. Um, there's like a shower that you can get, a shower set that I've seen. There's the Toyota. Forklift. I haven't attached the other bits on yet though. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you do collect Gashapons yourself, then you can always let me know which ones are worth getting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on another one.